All right, he is the former undisputed UFC lightweight champion, Charles Dubrox Oliveira, certainly going to be in the UFC Hall of Fame as the company's most decorated finisher of all time. And no surprise, Charlie Olives has prioritized a finish in this matchup here tonight. He always does. And I think it's that kill or be killed mentality that made him so fun. You always knew, man, at some point he's going to get hurt and he's not going to get up. But during that time that he did, he was so fun. From Justin Gaethje hurting him on multiple occasions to Michael Chandler to everyone else kind of putting him down to him, lifting himself up and getting the victory. Tonight he will have to do that again, but he needs to be a little safer. I think if Charles yeah. Oliveira was a little smarter in the octagon, he could add some years to his fight career. Let's see if tonight we see a pivot in the approach from Dubron. Well, he's got to be a judge's dream. Went the distance with Tony Ferguson in 2020, but that was his first decision fight since 2014. Kill or be killed. We'll see how it goes for Charles Oliveira tonight. So here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor and you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez. There's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger than life character and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor and he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns. Conor McGregor ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Charles DeBrox Oliveira! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Notar! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Boa That is yes. Brazilian Portuguese for good night. And Charles Oliveira is hoping to hear that at night's end against Conor McGregor. What a fascinating lightweight matchup. Conor going to try to keep this fight on the feet where he believes he has a decided advantage. I, I wish I knew Portuguese like huh. you, my brother. But let me tell you one thing, man. Conor McGregor feels like he has the advantage. He could possibly hurt Charles Oliveira. But does he really hold the advantage? We have seen so many great strikers get a hold of Dubon and hurt Dubon, but not be able to finish him. Can Conor McGregor be that guy? Can that bomb of a left hand be the shot that shuts the lights off on Charles Oliveira? I don't know. I'm just excited for those questions to be answered. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, I like that kick there. Big, massive hook that really has 
put his opponent on skates. Oh, nice level change. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, it looked like he might succumb to the submission there, but he escapes and gets back to his feet. Very nice. Oh, huge elbow gets through for him now. Oliveira gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Just switch kick by him there. Clearly, he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fighting. He can do that and not really tell you where that kick is going. But that punch, no good. Keep your hands up for me. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Whiffs on the straight right hand. 90 seconds to go in the round. of fights that we expect. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again how long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Connor. Oh, the accuracy will land right there. His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Just over four total strikes. Oh! Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Conor McGregor going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, looking to land the oh. leg kick, but oh. unable to find the target. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, here we go with our second round now. Conor McGregor versus Charles Oliver. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Kick lands. Nice job to block the strike there and then counters with an effective hook. So a nice sequence on the feet there by Olivera. Oh, nice elbow. Big right hook there by the champ. Two total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And connecting on just 35% of his attempts against Charles Dubronx Oliveira. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Nice uppercut. Immediately gets the underhook. Whoa! Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Attempting a choke now. That dark choke is tight. It looks like the dart choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his hip, try to hook the leg so that his opponent can't roll his back. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Let's work. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? No. Nope. Lucky guy. I am. <laughs> Hey, 
Our rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so fast that you should panic. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Omo Platas in UFC history. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he bails on the submission now. The unbelly. Final seconds here of round two. Right. Landing strikes nicely stop, stop, here from top stop. position. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, listen, you did good that round, but I need you to do a little bit better. When he closes the distance and grabs you, I need you to avoid that takedown, okay? Let's not worry about... All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Round three of a possible five. Oh, nice kick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it tough. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big clean position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent by hanging on his head. This could be it. Can't let sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Beautiful. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And now he's a different choke. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Making all these shots count. And he's back up. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Going to the body now with that hook shot, nicely done by Oliveira. Well, Jim, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Oliveira. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him. In oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by McGregor. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Heel hook looks tight. Working on a finish off this heel hook. He's got to keep the knee inside of his hip. He cannot allow for him to beat his hips. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time.
All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. The council, the energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, man, he's taking straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. <laughs> Oliveira gets back up here. Here. Looks like he's got the sub locked in tight now. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Now he's going full mount. Nice positional control here. Nice transition. Right into side control. Great shot from the top position. He's having his way with him here. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by McGregor. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hard. Oliver is looking for that arm triangle. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Choking, he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oliveira is looking to lock up an arm bar here. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Carlos the Bronx. All right, Buff, thank you very much. And there it is yet again, Charles Oliveira adding to his submission total here with a win tonight. New Bronx, Charles Oliveira, the moment the fight hits the floor, you are constantly under attack. Once again, as he has done on so many occasions, Charles Oliveira submits his opponent and gets another submission victory. Congrats, New Bronx, and your team.